Hello and welcome to another unboxing on my channel. Today with Nike, Goddess of Victory from Cardis Bandai. It's an official licensed product. And yeah, I didn't open the version number one. I don't know when it has released, to be honest. But yeah, I I got introduced to Nike through the Union Arena cards. And yeah, I know some people were maybe like a little bit angry about me that I didn't know the characters, but yeah, I am more into cards than into games. So yeah, after the Union Arena unboxing, I did start to play Nike actually, and I still do play. Uh, not super a lot since I do have to, to work and do YouTube, of course, but I try to play a little every day. So at least now I, I recognize the characters, right? most of them. But there are also, I think the names should be should be on every card's back. And yeah, this is like the metallic card version. Oh yeah, they do feel, oh yay. Okay, they do feel plastic, like credit cards or like, yeah. Not really like uh, cardboard and yeah. More like cold foil compared to maybe if you have watched my Zillions of Enemy X uh, card unboxings. They do have a, a cold foiling. And we have Dorothy. And at the yeah, on, on the back we have all the the different like weapon types, company. And oh yeah, nice additional artwork. And I actually like this artwork more. But yeah, what I already knew from from another unboxing I've I, I saw previously from this box is that most of the cards, or maybe all of them, I don't think all of them, but nearly all of them are horizontal. And I yeah, I usually am not a big fan of horizontal cards. But uh, oh, why is it called Gurin? I thought this is Scarlet. Oh, I'm confused. I don't know. Yeah, I recently uh, pulled her like randomly. I was uh, I was trying to get the Alice bunny. That the banner is still there, I guess. Uh, yeah, somehow I I got a pilgrim instead of the bunny. Even if I I do like the the bunny designs a lot. But yeah, two cards per pack, and if if it's true that you basically get all of the different cards with one box, which is pretty cool. At least this is what I've uh, heard. Neil Lister. Oh, she's, she's super busty. And, uh, oh, I like the evil artwork. It's, yeah. But the card feeling actually is nice. I I was skeptical from the videos I saw or like from... Yeah, and in general, like from my experience, that the cards that are not like the the regular card stock, I tend to not like them a lot. But these look nice. The printing and the coloring is good. I think it's pretty easy to mess these up with this dark uh, foiling. Oh, we get uh, something that's not horizontal. But first we have Modernia. Pretty nice. I pulled her too. But I think it was the last, the last banner. Yeah, Red Hood, and this casual like street wood with a graffiti in the background. Yeah, car quality. Like you can, maybe if you know me and my channel, like I I have opened a lot of different cards and stuff. And you can mess these cards up so easily when you are not careful with the material like on this surface scratches are so easily visible and even on other like official card manufacturers i remember like <laughs> opening panini cards and they they had some scratches these are super well made oh i'm i'm really surprised <laughs> yeah i think these boxes are still uh, easy to order. I don't think I was able to get the... Oh, is this a duplicate or am I stupid? I thought this is a duplicate. 
of Ye Sakura. Oh, I thought it's Yang. Maybe I'm not really familiar with the names. And <laughs> this penguin is super cute. Ray, Steel Baby. Yeah, from manufacturing standpoint, like, okay, of course, Bandai, they do make super nice cards. I did open one box of One Piece. But since I'm not the biggest One Piece fan, I and the boxes are expensive and stuff, but from, from a card manufacturing standpoint, like quality and card stock, like Bandai cards are so well made. They really do know how to... Oh, there is one scratch, I guess. Just want to say they really do know how to make cards. I think this is a scratch, but yeah. I'm very critical, uh, crit critical <laughs> when it comes to like card, card, card manufacturing and card producing. Oh yeah, this looks nice. I I do like that they have basically two artworks, like one character uh, from the game. It would be very boring if we would have just the character like this and then gray wallpaper background. But the way they split the the art into like one, yeah, in a different artwork, this is super cool. I like this, and now it's a, definitely a duplicate. So how many different, how many different card types do we have? I can't read anything. Ah, I don't even think that there are like rarities or anything. So compared to Union Arena, it's not like there are chase cards, which are number... Oh, okay. Uh, blank. Bunny girl. Very nice. I, I have we pulled a Noir, I don't think. Noir is like really top tier. Big waifu. <laughs> she is really, really high in my uh, appreciation measure tier list. Maybe there there should be a noir artwork, please. I don't know. Maybe she was in the in the previous set. But now that I know how good the cards feel and look, I might try to get the the first volume. Maybe there will be a, a second print one similar to or the other company that's doing like plasticky Nikki cards is. Algonon, and they do release a second volume in, at the end of the month. Okay. This is so nice. Red Hood. Okay, yeah, this artwork is like basically overused at this point. So a little bit more variety, but yeah. Like her, was it like all the time? Is it the just the standing pose? I don't know, for some reason my in my head it feels like I have seen this Red Hood uh, picture everywhere. Maybe they use it a lot in advertising. But yeah, we will get a, a reprint of the Algonon cards, the plastic cards, at the end of the month. And I didn't plan to order them because I, I was on the yeah transition between jobs. So basically I was... Uh, Scared that I will be unemployed, but I actually do have still a job. So yeah, I will try to order them. Uh, first, I said I I will not be able to order them, but I will try to get them now since I do do work. And uh, yeah, maybe if we get a if we get the second print run of Union Arena, Nikki, I will try to get at least two more boxes. And this time there are no more action point sign cards, of course. Oh yeah, best. So she is like my, I don't know, for, for some reason she is my, my favorite character of all. Yeah, it's not my favorite voice actor, I have to admit. But yeah, character and design wise, she's my, my favorite. I do really like her. But no noir so far. Just the one, the one double-sided red hood, or maybe there are no more. Another duplicate, and another one. Okay. 
I have to check if I can find the card list for this release. I hope I do have pulled every card and I'm not missing one or two. Yeah, let me know what do you think about these cards. I hope you can see it very well on camera, the print quality and yeah, even if they are horizontal, like in, in the past, I often complained and said, oh no, horizontal cards. But this time I can, I can deal with it. I think these look very nice. But yeah, for more unboxings, please uh, check out my channel uh, or subscribe. I will be, yeah, <laughs> last, last pack magic. Uh, I will be focusing like a little more on Nike if I can. And uh, yeah, since I do enjoy the characters and the game and yeah, uh, came for the booba, stayed for the plot, like everyone else, I guess. But yeah, very nice character designs and very nice story. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.